It's three weeks to the start of your examinations. But you're on Instagram, scrolling away your future. You're on TikTok, while the clock goes tick-tock. You're even on YouTube, watching unrelated videos. Are you serious right now? How about reconstructing your study schedule? If you are interested in improving your CSEC and CAPE grades, then you might want to stick around for the rest of this video. a little bit lighten up i miss disha head tutor here at disha's online academy aka doa and today i'll be sharing a remarkable story as well as a winning study plan for the next three weeks don't worry we're gonna do this together now this story is about a determined country girl girl lack all the necessary study tools and materials that you have today to propel her through her secondary education and even though she was deficient of these study tools and materials she was adamant that she will become a medical doctor so you know what that girl did she used what she had she used her raggedy textbooks found a quiet area in her house and began to read for her upcoming examinations. She also prayed. Yes, she prayed to God for understanding and a retentive memory. In short, that girl came out with 10 C-sex subjects, topping the sciences. Remarkable, right? Now, what is this story saying to you? It is saying to you that it doesn't matter what stage of exam preparation you are at. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Put God first, have faith in your capabilities. You can do it. Now on to our winning study plan. But first, put away all agents of distraction. Phones, gadgets. Anything that fosters the process of procrastination, they must go. We're all about maximizing our time during the next three weeks. Right, we're now in week one. And week one is all about content review. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to check how many topics you already know. Make a note of that. And you're also going to check for the most difficult topics. After your little short listing, you're going to start reviewing the most difficult topics first. So you're going to reach for any study materials you have. Notebooks, textbooks, lectures, and you are going to read. Mind you, I did not say browse or skim. You are going to read the materials. You need to find somewhere quiet in your home, just you and your textbook, and begin to read the terms, the concept, the definitions. Read the summaries at the end of the chapters. See what concepts and terms were reiterated. And note here, we're not writing. We are reading through the materials. In addition, try to explain what you have read to your parents your siblings, your friends, teach it, sing it, right? This week is all about reading and understanding. Week two, 
So next week is the week when we're going to get creative with our study aids. Yes, in week two, you should be regurgitating what you have taken in during your content review in week one. You're going to obtain some cue cards or make some cue cards, write your major terms and their definitions, examples, or key events. In addition, you can use memorizing systems like mnemonics to remember your scientific pathways and theories. Now, while you're getting creative with your study aids, I want you to start anticipating your paper two questions. To do this, you turn the concepts that you learned in week one into questions. And I also want you to start to think about how you would answer these questions. To reinforce what you read in week one, I want you to take a trip to YouTube land. There are numerous free and informative videos that can assist you with your most difficult topics. Speaking of which, I've made over 100 videos related to several subjects just for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So go ahead and take a tour of my YouTube channel and subscribe today. Week 3. Yes, I've saved the best for last. Week 3 is all about practicing. Here, you're going to start reviewing your most recent past paper questions using the knowledge that you have gained throughout the semester as well as in week one. Notice a left past paper review for the final week. Yes, it is most effective to do it this way. You will be wasting your time if you start practicing your past paper questions without doing a thorough content review. Work on your graph construction skills as well as how to interpret your graph. Practicing past paper questions will build your momentum. It will help you to feel better when you encounter the actual questions on your exams. And don't worry, our tutors here at DOA will resume their past paper marathons so you won't be alone. Now we've talked about the winning strategies for the next three weeks. But what about the things that you should not be doing? Well, I hope that you are finished with all SBA work. Bringing them into week one, two, and three is a no-no. If you need to take a day to finish the SBAs, take it. But finish it up as soon as possible. Number two, please don't spend the, all of your time studying one topic. Remember, we're using this syllabus to help us to study don't play the guessing game on what on which topics are coming on the examination use your syllabus to study holistically number three please don't spend your time making elaborate study notes you're not rewriting the entire book here use your syllabus as a guide and document brief notes on the related objectives number four Please don't reach for the distraction devices that I ask you to put away. You're going to need all the time and attention for your exam preparation. This is very important. Please take study breaks. Once you've achieved a concept, you can take a 5 to 10 minutes break, breathe, stretch, snack on something and start again. Ensure that you're getting at least 8 hours of sleep. Lastly, please do not harbor negative energy. Please remain positive. Having a positive mindset during the preparation stage will help you to feel at ease. It will help you to concentrate and when it's time for you to do your actual examinations, you will remember everything that you have studied. All right, Blue Bloods, go ahead and reconstruct your study schedule. Happy studying and see you in week three.